Put your hands together for the deadly duo of Kevin Cropanieri and Andy Saunders. Wow! Hey, Kev. Kev, two black fellas, well dressed, in a big important room in front of heaps of people. And we're not even at court. Not even <laughs> in court. How's that? How cool is and, that? Hey, and Kev, you know, I always get asked a question over and over again. It's this one. What is it like to be Aboriginal? Have you ever been asked this, Kev? Yes, I have, Andy, but I'll actually go one better. Okay. Because I've got a very colourful past, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, very colourful, more colourful than a packet of Skittles. <laughs> if you lick my balls, you can taste the rainbow, yes? <laughs> Yuck. Yes. Yes, but when I did turn my life around over 13 years ago, I got involved with youth work, working with our people, and then also working in education as an Aboriginal education worker. And, uh, and we're role modelling for all children. We are role modelling. For all races. Yep. And I was in at a school and there was this little dude, little white dude, grade two, Barry was his name. Cute. Bless him, he had little blonde hair, and he walked up to me and goes, Kevin, when I grow up, I want to be an Aboriginal. <laughs> what? Yes, bless him. And I went down to him and I said, Barry, have you spoken to your parents about your lifestyle choice? Yeah, you need to talk. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. how, how good is it, though, you know, like... Oh, look, when he said that to me, he actually got right inside my heart, ladies and gentlemen. And I remember they got very emotional and music started to play. What sort of music, Kev? Just like that, Andrew. <laughs> we got so emotional, I got down and I looked at the little fella right in his eyes. And I said to him, from my heart to his heart, as I put one hand on his shoulder. Cute little shoulder. Fuck, he's short. <laughs> yes, Andrew. And I put my other hand on his other shoulder. And I said to him, from my heart to his heart. Do you know how fucking hard it is being Aboriginal in this country? Racism! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kev, 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 settle down. Come on, little fella. Sorry. Go, go. Come Come off. Go to a safe place. <sighs> okay. Oh, okay. Kev. I yes. take it he... Uh, he, he doesn't, doesn't want, want to be Aboriginal, Aboriginal anymore, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. hey, Kev, look, uh, just on that, I think this audience, this wonderful, brilliant, gorgeous, smart... Pigment-challenged. Pigment-challenged <laughs> audience can help us explain to them and translate to them what it's like to be Aboriginal through song. Yes, so when I point this microphone at the audience, I want you guys to go crazy and go, oh, deadly. OK, yeah. so here we go. Oh, now you good. gotta say it like you're from the mission. You gotta say it like you just won fucking 50 free spins at the pokies, man. <laughs> like, say it like you just went to court and you thought the magistrate was gonna give you 12 months, but he only gave you three months. <laughs> nice. That's it. Come on, you people, clap along. Oh, deadly. <laughs> Oh, deadly. This is a ride for all the black fellas. If you're my cousin, loan me $20. And that's what it's like being Aboriginal, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. So deadly. Thank you very much, Melbourne. Andy Saunders and Kevin Krupinuri.